Now we are going to go over how to use your knowledge that each place value is worth 10 times more than the place value to its right to solve some problems. Let's say you're given a problem like this. Well, the first thing you should do is label your place value chart so we know what place values we're looking at. Now in this problem, we are told to do 10 times four ones. Well, when you read that in your head, you're going to think 10 groups of four ones. And you can go ahead and draw that on your place value chart. We'll start by drawing one group of four ones. Now two groups, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 groups of four ones. Now we can answer the first part of our question. How many total ones are there? If you count them up, you realize that there are 40 ones. Now in the next part of the question, we need to show 40 ones in a different way on our place value chart. How can I show 40 ones in a different way? Well, I can take the first group of 10 ones and turn it into one 10. The next group of 10 ones turns into another 10. The third group of 10 ones into a third 10. And the fourth group of 10 ones into a fourth 10. I can say that 40 ones is equal to four tens. Let's say you're given a different problem. Here again, we're gonna start by labeling our place value chart. Now we wanna solve for 10 times three tens. How am I gonna read that in my head? You're gonna read it as 10 groups of three tens. If you draw 10 groups of three tens, how many total tens will you have? Well, you can imagine one group of three, two groups, three groups, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 groups. And if you count up all of those tens, you realize that you have 30. Now, what can I do to rewrite or redraw my 30 tens? Well, I can take the first group of 10 tens and make 100, the next group of 10 tens, makes another hundred, and the third group of 10 tens makes a final hundred. So I can say that 30 tens is equal to three hundreds. Now these next problems will ask us to use our knowledge without necessarily seeing a place value chart. You can visualize it, but it's not necessary to draw one out. Say you're given the problem blank is the same as 10 tens. Well, inside of your head, you can imagine a place value chart with 10 tens. And you can start to realize, oh yeah, what could happen with 10 tens? They can be bundled together and turned into 100. So you can write, without having to draw anything, that 100 is the same as 10 tens. We can do this even as the numbers become larger. If it asks blank, is the same as 30 hundreds. Well, in your head, you can visualize a place value chart filled with 30 hundreds. And then you can think to yourself, well, 10 hundreds will make 1,000, another 10 hundreds makes another thousand, and another 10 hundreds makes a third thousand. What is the same as 30 hundreds? Yeah, on our place value chart, we have drawn that 3 thousands is the same as 30 hundreds. Hopefully you can get to the point where you do not need to draw this chart. Say you're given a question like this. 10 times as many as two tens is what? Well, what you might think to yourself is 10 times as many. That means I'm gonna move over one place value from the tens. What's right next to the tens place? Yeah, it's the hundreds. So 10 times as many as two tens is just two hundreds. How about this one? 10 times as many as six ones is what? Well, again, you should have thought 10 times as many means move one place value over. And from the ones place, that brings us to having six tens. Here's another problem. Now it says 10 times as many as what is 30 ones. So you need to think to yourself, 10 times as many as what gets me to 30. Well, hopefully you realize th 10 times as many to get to 30, that's just 10 groups of three ones. 
And we also know that you can show 31s as three tens. And one last problem. Say you're given blank as five tens is five hundreds. This one sounds a little confusing, but what it's asking you to do is compare tens with hundreds. Well, a hundred is how many times as many as a ten? Yeah, it's ten times as many. So what you can write is ten times as many as five tens is five hundreds. That's just saying ten times more than five tens is five hundreds. And so we can get to the point that even if we're not drawing a place value chart each time, we can compare different place values. That gives you all that you need to answer questions about how to compare numbers when they're in different place values.